Hello friend, this is Jimmy from Can Have an Immigration Canada. Uh, this video is regarding British Columbia PNP changes that has been done on November the 16th. Uh, government of BC has announced uh, various changes. As you guys all know, there are changes in the NOC system is gone now. The new tier system has been implemented uh, this week. And the same thing, as you guys know, BC PNP was stopped for a month. To reflect those changes and bring out the new uh, selection system and the point based system for their pnp and other related criteria now let's go into the detail there are six main factors that has been changed so B bc pnp has modified this uh, point system to reflect knock changes and importance of human capital factors as i mentioned on november 16 these all things have been implemented uh, to if we uh, summarize all of this, points have been removed for the NOC skill levels. NOC system is now changed with the tier classification, as I mentioned. Uh, because of this, the number of points assigned for the human capital, like skills, experience, education, and competencies for the individual, and economic factors like job offer, income, district of employment, has been increased. Additional points have been added for the professional designation and language proficiency. Points have also been added for the previous experience working or studying outside of Metro Vancouver area. So there will be total 200 uh, <clears throat> points now. If we look at human capital factors related to the directly related work experience maximum are 40 points. Highest level of education 40 points, language proficiency 40. Um, economic factors, hourly wage of the BC job offer is 55 points and where you are working that also have 25 points like area within the BC whether you are in Metro Vancouver or outside or rural area or the semi-urban whatever there. are. Let's go into the first change, no point according to the NOC, the job offer. Uh, as I mentioned before, there the NOC system is gone, tier classification is there. so. If, if your application has been, been updated, so there you won't get any points, right? Uh, previously assigned up to 60 points in the value base of NOC, these points have now been distributed across the both human capital and economic factors I mentioned before. Let's see what are the reallocation of the points. Directly related work experience now receive maximum of 60 points. Previously it was 40. Highest level of education, I'm told 40 points. It was 25 before, language proficiency is 40 now, before it was 30. Hourly wage of job offer now receive 55 points, it was 50 before. Area within the BC now receive 25 points, it was 10 before. So there is a lot of jump in that. We look at the change number three, points for eligible professional designation. Another change in the point allocation for the economic factor was addition of five point then can be awarded to the eligible professional designation uh, <coughs> uh, in the BC province. Uh, most of these ones include the trade certification held by the Skill Trade BC or Industry Training Authority BC, ITA BC programs, but also make a reference to some of the other uh, trade certification in that. Uh, change number four is CLB language benchmark of nine. Now receive a full score of uh, the points that has been allocated under the language proficiency. Uh, maximum score of language ability 30 point can be achieved with a CLB level of nine or as opposed to the previous, it was only 10 points. Uh, <clears throat> there is a big change has been done if we look at the change number five. Readjusted waiting for uh, the location in the British Columbia, like it's a weightage that has been given for the location where you are working. You will get zero point for employment in the Metro Vancouver district or what we call the lower mainland. You will get five point for employment in Squamish, Abbotsford, Agassiz, Mission and Chilliwack districts and 15 point for any other area in BC, not in the ones I have mentioned before. So, so there is a, additionally, the criteria allocate 10 additional point to the individual with a specific regional education and work experience combined. 
so there is a so now there is a big change in that one so the last and but not the least change number six is the higher weight ceiling uh, <clears throat> uh, the fa the final major change for uh, this uh, bcpnp is the criteria that has a higher weight ceiling to receive the maximum number of points based on your income yearly income there are also five additional points available for the applicants uh, it's 55 now before it was 50 uh, previously an annual salary of 100000 would guarantee an applicant with a maximum number of points in this category has now been adjusted because of the inflation and all other things uh, in the ceiling has gone up to annual income of 145000 Applicant who previously held a salary of 100,000 now only received 33 points as opposed to the maximum old of 50 points. So there is there are big changes in those ones. So you guys, if you are submitting your application or your application was there before, you have to change it according to the new tier classification. Send all the changes to the BCPNP office. And if you haven't done it, so go through all this so you can see where you guys are standing. So that was a little update for BCPNP changes. I'll keep you guys updated if there'll be anything else comes up. Till then, you guys all have a good day. Thank you.